everyone, welcome back to yet another Star Stable video. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And today, I'm going to be recreating Jorvik Stables in Star- in not Star- in The Sims 4. So let's just get right into the video. I am not using custom content for this one, so I'm just using items found in game. So hopefully this turns out well, and let's see how it turns out. Doo doo! Into the video we go. So at first I decided that I was going to start with the outside of Jorvik Stables because I really like the two paddocks in front of it and I thought it would be good. Of course these are going to take up a lot of space though so in the end it's kind of concerning but you know what? It's good. And I decided to add them and they are squares so I had to make them 11 by 11 for this and then I kind of just added in the Frisian and Knobstrupper, Nabstrooper paddocks outside on the left and here i am just adding the decorations kind of to begin with this i tried to find a lamp that matched because your big stables kind of does has that scheme of like lamps and stuff and here i am just making the knob strupper and um what's it called generation three frisian selling areas and i wanted to make the roofs fit for this so it kind of took me a while but after a while i figured out what i wanted to go with and since there is this above area i decided that instead i would just take out the roof of the floor and instead just put poles connecting them to the fences to make it look more like star stable and what is in star stable of course i tried to do as much as i could with the space given in this lot and then i added in the kind of ground for the stables and after that i finished with the roof and here i am making the walkway i added some trees on either side and then made the rocks super big and put them on either side of the stables and just adding the outdoor forestry because your big stables definitely has a lot of trees and stuff so i decided to go with that and now we're working on your big stables and i will be back in a little bit I started working on the inside of the stables which I added that little walkway at the beginning and basically used the same fencing from outside so it matches and next I just kind of played around with plants to make it look more like Jorvik stables entryway which does have a lot of flowers and stuff so I added a few flowers and the wagon that is right outside the stables um, the Sims 4 does not actually have a wagon, so I kind of just did that little flower pot thing instead. And here I am making the house in Jorvik Stables, which is basically a main part of the storyline. So I made it pretty big, and I had the space for it as well, so that's why I put it there. And these are the windows that I found worked best for it, but of course there were a lot of other options. And this house is actually taller than the outside walls of Jorvik Stables. Like, I didn't realize that before, but now I did, and I just think it's pretty good overall. I tried to do my 
my best with the roof as well, which I'm not the best at making wolves. Wolves, no roofs in The Sims 4. So I did my best and to match it to Star Stable as the best I could and enjoy the rest of the video. But next, I'm usually working on the stables, the paddock, and everything else in Jorvik Stables. So yeah, enjoy. Here I started making the ground look like Yorvik Stables because in Yorvik Stables they have a lot of pathways, very open area and stuff. So I just started spray painting the ground basically to make it look the best as Yorvik Stables as I could. And instead of the wooden flooring, I decided to just go with this stone flooring instead because it looks better. And then I added some of the hanging lights, which are also found in Yorvik Stables, which I thought was a pretty cool thing to add. And I'm just looking through and finding if anything else will fit and adding some lights overall to the stables and stuff so yeah this is just the finishing touches of the stables basically and me adding anything that needs to be added
I have finally <laughs> completed Yorvik stables, so let's just go and get our character. Um, I didn't make her like a character from Yorvik stables, she is just randomized, but we are going to go ahead and move her to live there, <laughs> so then we can check it out. Hello, can you please? I- okay, okay, good. It's working, <laughs> we're fine. Okay, here we go. That's what it looks like from above. Okay, we're going to go and check out how it looks. And I will be showing you guys how it looks. Uh, of course it's rainy. Oh my. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna speed it up until it's not rainy. Uh, oh, this is lovely. She must love her house. Uncomfortable? She clearly loves her house. Oh my goodness. Okay, hurry up. Well, I'm going to be showing you basically- Oh, she's talking- go away okay i'm going to show you the house so this is how the exterior looks we have the two paddocks where i tried to cut them exactly where they were in game um so that is what they look like we got the lamp post this is supposed to be where the knob strippers and um frisian generation three frisians are sold and then back here we have the little area behind the paddock and then once we go into the actual stables Yorvik stables um it has a gate and i didn't have horse statues so we have random lion statues instead and then it has this nice walkway so you enter this and i tried to make it look as much as Yorvik stables as you possibly could keeping all the room we have and then i didn't have space for the back um the back house here so instead it's just this and then over here we have the house with the quests um i forgot his name but yeah and then over here is supposed to be oh over here is supposed to be the main stylist slash tail stylist area so that is why it's over here and i didn't really decorate that inside of the houses but it's just the outside for now this is what this part looks like we have the bushes in the back as well which i thought was pretty cool and the bushes leading up to it and now the stables so this is what the stables looks like we have the two doors over here this is supposed to be the grand entrance of star stable and this is actually a doggy door that i made big because it looks like a good stable door over here we have a well but oh 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 my oh my we just zoomed up okay but here is the well where you can like get water for your horse and stuff here is the everyday check-in and chores and then the inside of oh my oh my the inside of the stables looks something like this we have like four stalls and the lights we didn't have like hay or anything so that's why it's just like that but i think it's pretty good overall and this is the great grand entrance i oh my gosh the roofs are consuming me but i didn't have space for anything else so i just left it as this and kind of shrunk it down so that it matched like that oh don't mind that it's supposed to be yellow okay you guys promise i promise and then over here we have the little paddock where you can come and train your horse on the interior of your vic stables and that's basically what it looks like overall i think i did pretty good i'm usually not the best with roofs though so that's why they're kind of like what is this but you know what i think i did pretty good for my skill set and this is after making Moreland. This is Yorvik Stables. And I also tried to make the paddocks kind of look like they would in Star Stable. And then over here, we have the door and everything for that. And over here, we have two different types of trees just to make it a bit more realistic. And I'm pretty sure these, these are like one of my more favorite type of trees, but I thought these looked more like it. So I just kept it as that. And I also add the benches and flowers. So, you know, it's pretty good in my opinion. <laughs> This is what Yorvik Stables looks like in The Sims that I did. And yeah, let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. And what area you want me to make next in Star Stable. I mean, in The Sims 4, not Star Stable. Bye everyone, thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed and I think I did a pretty good job overall. Um, I kind of ran out of some space at the end there, but you know what, that's okay. We got what we could and we kind of just shrunk down... Yorvik stables a little bit, but that's okay. I wanted to do the exterior as well as some of the interior of the stables, so that's why I shrunk it down, and yeah, bye! Oh, here's another video where I recreate Moreland. Go check it out if you haven't already, and you might like that one. So yeah, just go check that out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and yeah, bye!